Welcome to your Gold Market Update Charts of the Day for today, the 21st of December. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst here at Gold Markets. With a look around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. If we look at what's come across the news, of course, we saw US markets sell off in the last two hours of the trading day on what looked like a broad brace profit taking pause and ended up being the worst single session since September as the session closed near the lows. At this stage, it does look like a pause rather than a reversal. There are a couple of things which indicate that that might be the case, not least the fact that US futures are slightly higher in Asian trading. Asian markets are generally following that weak US lead with the ASX down 0.5%. European futures are pointing to a lower open also, not surprisingly. But we've got some key data out tonight, which may mean that this turns into a buying into the dip if that data comes in OK. US dollar index only slightly positive overnight, which is another sign that this might just be a profit take. Near neutral in Asia, slightly to the downside against the yen, particularly. Now, gold pulled back after failing to breach the 2040 level, but 2043 looks really important technically. Slightly higher in Asia, as is copper, uh, which pulled back a little bit from the top of the short term trading range with the resistance at 391. So, all of the signs say that this isn't a massive panic sell off. This says, we're having a pause, we're pulling back a little bit, possibly ready to go again. Oil double, oil pulled back from $75 on the WTI contract, uh, but that was really due to the bigger than expected build in oil inventories in the US. Bitcoin also pulled back after testing 45,000, it is within a short term range and may well test it again over the next 24 to 48 hours. Today, as I said, we've got some key data coming up. We've got US weekly jobs, GDP, and the manufacturing data is out tonight of, from the US. This will probably be the determinant as to whether we see some buying into that dip or not. We've also got the PCE number Q on Q figure tonight, which is important. More importantly, is the year on year figure that comes out tomorrow. So we may see a little bit of caution, even if we get some buying. But we'll see, of course, what happens. The market will do what the market will do. Let's have a couple of charts at Core RI today. Uh, the Euro Yen looks interesting. If we look at the hourly chart, we did reference the Yen strength today. And you can see uh, this started during the US session, has continued through the Asian session. We are now at this key level at 156.50, which we've paused at over the last hour and a half or so. So a breach of this 166.4, 156.40, I think, would certainly pushes down to 156 uh, being the nice round number. Whether it's got the momentum to push through uh, down to S3 pivot level remains to be seen. But at this stage, it looks like a very clean chart if we get that break. On the ASX, we're actually quite liking TWE, Treasury Wine Estates Limited. Uh, you can see there we have breached a key level following this technical double bottom that we see on the daily chart. We need to close above this uh, and then we may see a potential move up maybe around this five and a half percent up to 11.45 in the short term this company is well positioned at this stage not only in europe but also with china uh, lifting some of the tariffs associated with australian wine imports we may see this benefit throughout the year so either from a short-term point of view to take advantage of a short-term move up to 11.50 or maybe even a long-term consideration. Either way, we need to see it close above this 1083 level. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.